Okay, so I think the only other interaction we're going to put on this is to actually allow a user to rotate. Um, I was going to allow you to reposition it, but it's largely, um, you have to pick one or the other when you're going to use a pan. And what is a pan? It means that if I took my um, my touch, right, and I just ran it across or up and down, you know, what would happen? Um, and so what we want to do is capture when someone pretty much is just going up and down, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not up and down, left and right, to allow them to rotate this model in front of them. And so we have to put our our patches in here. So what we're going to do is click on this, control click on that, or two finger click on that, and we're going to look for pan, screen pan. So I'm going to select that one and I'm going to add this patch. Um, and so you notice you have these two values you could possibly work with, the 2D offset or the 2D position. We're going to be working with the 2D position, and this is a, a, a vector 2 um, number. Um, so the first thing we need to do is um, uh, kind of actually, the weird thing is if you're going this way, we need to like reverse your um, the way you're going in, in it. So uh, I'm going to look for a divide. And to reverse this, so I'm going to grab this 2D offset and I'm going to put it up here to the top. So it's taking these two numbers and it's dividing both of them, and I'm going to say by negative 1. Okay? Um, just, just do it. Don't worry about why I already worked it out. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is add an unpack. So this unpack, uh, we're going to need to change this to a vector 2. So if you mouse over, if you click on it, you'll see it right here. It'll say vector 3. We need to click on the arrow and say vector 2, right? Because we had two numbers come in here. They're both being divided, and it will do that. So you could see what would happen if I had a vector 3. It would give me an error. It's like I'm not getting two, three numbers. So you need to tell it you're getting two numbers. Okay, so I have these two numbers coming in to unpack. Now, what I need to do is turn this into a vector 3. And I'm going to do that with the pack one right here. Now, the, th the truth is, I don't actually care anymore um, about the x number. All I care about is the y number. So I'm going to take this y number and I'm going to go right to here because remember it's x, y, z, right? So right now I'm sending a value of 0, whatever this math is for the y, uh, x0, y whatever the number is, z0, right? I don't want to rotate it on any axis but the y axis, which means it'll just spin right around. And so the last thing I have to do is get this rotation, right? So I make sure I have interaction selected. Uh, on rotation, I click this little arrow and it brings this down here for me. I connect this together and that's it. Now you see, um, right, I can spin my little guy around here. See? Oops, it's not working great, but it's working nonetheless. Um, so go ahead and uh, build that and build it to your camera and check it out and see if it's working for you. Okay, so I'm going to add an addendum to this to that video because um, I was a little conflicted whether to use span or ro pan or rotate. So as of right now, right, if I go up and down, this spins really nice. Left and right, it's a little slower. Um, that's kind of nice, um, but really, when you think about the user experience of a phone, we do know we do have a a rotate motion. What I don't like about that is that the motion of the rotate was is, you know, if you put your hand out and try to rotate, it's kind of different than the rotation that we're putting on the model, and that's why I wanted to use this motion right here. Um, I don't know that that was necessarily the right choice, because would a user think to go that way? I'm not really sure. Um, but we could fix it if we wanted, if you wanted to make the different choice. We can fix that really simply. We go in and add a rotate, a screen rotate, okay, and we'll just get rid of our pan. Whoops, I'll just grab it and hit delete. Um, and by the way, if you hold option, you can move this around. I have a two finger um, trackpad, so that moves it around. So now to notice the screen rotate only gives us a scalar, it gives us one number. So when we bring that into divide, um, whoops, we get, um, oh yeah, that's, that's right. It gives us this little like, oh no, it wants a, a, a thing. The nice thing is this divide will kind of unpack it for us. So if we just say, Vector 2, there we go, that goes away, and now this will go ahead and run as we want it to, and we'd have to try this to our phones.